Good Monday, folks. Monday time. Hot news. That's what we're doing. You don't. Is it Monday? Good, good Monday. Good Monday. What else do you want me to say, Reese? You want me to talk about today's ad spot? Oh yeah, because we got sponsored for today. Synergy, my friends, if you're working from home a little bit more than you otherwise would, you got a desktop, you got a laptop, you don't want to have to use the touchpad on the laptop, you don't want to have to use multiple keyboards and mics, that's where Synergy comes in and makes your life a little bit easier. You just set it up and then wham, bam, you can control multiple computers at once using the same keyboard and mouse. You don't need a KVM switch. You don't need to have a stupidly complicated setup. You can just set it up on Mac, Windows, Linux, doesn't matter. One PC controlling multiple devices, easy peasy. You can go to their website down below, linked in the video description. You can get signed up for their basic package, which is just a one-time purchase. It's not software as a service. It's not extra money every single freaking month. It's a, you buy it, you own it. And in case you need some SSL encryption, they do have a pro version of it available as well. So you can make sure that you're secure while controlling multiple PCs. So check out Synergy down below. Big thanks to them for sponsoring today's episode of Hot News. And let's talk about the hotness that is today's hot news, which is AMD about to kill Intel. It's done, it's done. If these rumors are anything to believe, be believed, Oh man, we talked about on Friday how there was a 3750X and a 3850X rumored to be on their way. Well, turns out while the naming might be wrong, the idea that a Matisse refresh is imminent looks to be all the more true. With the names coming in as the 3600 XT, the 3800 XT, and the 3900 XT, to which you may ask, why would, what would that do? Well, it would close the clock speed gap between AMD and Intel, which in case you don't know, Intel only beats AMD by like two to five FPS at most. And with these XT chips could potentially not beat them at all. Might just be a, like directly or better because the 3900 XT is looking to see a 300 megahertz bump in its base clock and a 200 megahertz bump in its boost clock coming close to that mythical five gigahertz, 4.8 gigahertz on 12 cores and 24 threads. And if you're familiar with the Ryzen 3000 chips, you know that they don't overclock particularly well unless you have a very, very golden sample. Well, it looks like these XT chips may indeed just be those mythical bins that AMD has set aside where they're like, okay, all of the good ones, we're gonna hold you up. You stay right here. Don't you worry, babies. Your time in the shine's coming. Just, just wait. We gotta wait for Intel to make a fool of itself and then we're gonna release you. It's, it's gonna be good, okay? We're gonna have them sabotage their own self, and then you're just gonna put the nail in the coffin. Okay, babies? Okay, 3900 XT, can you hold on? Well, if the rumors are to be believed, Ju June 16th is the announcement day, July 7th is the release date a year from the original version's XT to hold us over until Zen 3 comes, which this could be big, if true. However, I will say that, you know, We've had this rumor before. In case you don't remember, the 2700X, people were like, huh, it's good, but it's not that good. I wonder if AMD could give us more. Well, the 9900K launched when rumors of the 2800X kept popping up. Well, AMD never did end up releasing the 2800X despite how many rumors came out about it. So while the XT rumors appear to be happening in multiple different arenas, it was confirmed by Gigabyte's own slide that there appears to be a Matisse refresh coming in. Still hold it with a grain of salt, but what I would love to see here, and this is just me theory crafting, not based on any rumors or anything that I've heard behind the scenes, but I would love to see AMD release the XT versions at the original prices of the original chips because the 3900X is selling for anywhere between $410 and $430. If they release the XT at $500, which was the original price of 3900X with the extra clock speed increases, they just slap Intel silly. It's over, it's over Intel. Why do you even try in the desktop PC space anymore? Just give us 10 nanometers. Stop releasing the same thing year in and year out, okay? That's what I'm saying. But AMD is not gonna be releasing the same thing year in and year out when it comes to APUs because Biostar has leaked, unfortunately, the motherboard manufacturer leaked the specifications for AMD's Ryzen 4000 Renoir APUs with the Ryzen 7 4700G being confirmed, base clock 3.6 gigahertz, Ryzen 5 4400G and the Ryzen 3 4200G all being confirmed with the clock speeds and their TDP. So good job Biostar, you, you did well. but. Now let's get to the spicy news. Let's see. it's time for time for drama. You ready for drama? I'm always At, ready. Like this is basically H3H3 versus Keemstar in the tech world. 
Are we ready for that? You ready to hold your horses? Okay, because this is some big beef. I mean, it's not really beef. I'm making much more out of it than was made by the original poster. So like, I'm just hyping it up for the sake of sensationalism because, you know, views. But ASRock posted with their Z490 Aqua that it set four 10th gen world records with their amazing water-cooled $1,100 motherboard. Except for the fact that the super sleuth over at actually hardcore overclocking known as Buildzoid uh, did a little bit of digging and found out that, hey, hey, th that motherboard that set those world records is not the board you're selling. Excuse me. You sent him an engineering sample with two dim slots, which is not the same as the retail board you're selling. ASRock. What is the shady marketing? Azrock saying that, oh, the Aqua was capable of it, but you can go see based on the overclocker splave with HWBot, when you have these types of records, you have to verify it by posting a picture of your setup. And it turns out that the picture of a setup is some weird board that Azrock's not selling, only has two dim slots. It's covered in yellow. Obviously the overclocking world records are phenomenal. Good job to Splave for making it happen. And good, rock, good job to Azrock's engineering team for providing a board that could actually do it. So good stuff there. But Buildzoid pointing out, this is bull crap. This is bad marketing. You're not selling the board that achieved these results. Sure, it may have some of the same specifications, but fundamentally, it's not the same board. It's like saying that the Maximus 12 Extreme hit the world record when it was actually really just done in the Maximus 12 Apex, which is the one designed for overclocking and only has two dim slots. You're making something up that didn't actually happen. So whose side are you on? Azrock Buildzoid. Let me know down below. Keemstar H3, what's going on? Fight. Fight, down below. What, my personal investment in this? Fun, which in case you want fun, MSI is gonna give it to you. Oh, you better believe they're gonna give it to you because they're releasing a Soundtune AI powered noise cancellation software, which sounds remarkably like RTX voice. However, uh, doesn't appear to be RTX voice based as far as I can tell and is exclusive to MSI's products. It's very weird. You can download a beta version on their website right now, but I don't know how it works. There's not a ton of detail on it. They have specific they have specific laptops and desktops that it's suitable for. No mention whether or not you need to use RTX, but it's AI powered through deep neural networks. But whether it's processed locally or it's based on a deep neural network data set that they have, it's very weird. Just use RTX voice instead if you do indeed have an RTX card. If you don't, I mean, wailing kids in the background isn't the worst thing that I could hear this day. But the worst thing that I could not hear either I don't know where this segue is going, but NVIDIA releases some information on their game GAN, which is basically an AI that was able to reconstruct Pac-Man from watching Pac-Man without a game engine. They made a game without a game engine using AI. What? They reconstructed Pac-Man from the ground up watching Pac-Man. It's crazy. AI doing some wicked stuff. And what's wicked cool is this Lee and Lee O11 dynamic PC Master Race collaboration in Space Gray. Reese is having such a happy face right now. His smile, is, it's, it's the most wholesome thing you'll see all day. Anyways, Space Gray, I'd love it. Honestly, the reason why I would buy this is the little uh, plate that comes on the inside. It's all nice and sh silver and reflective and it's PCMR special edition. I want that more than I want the Space Gray. I want the PCMR special edition. But I want specially fast internet too which thankfully researchers in Australia, because I mean, it's not real. So, I mean, of course, internet travels fast there. It goes fastest in a void. Australia not being real, there's nothing there for, there's no medium. Anyways, 44.2 terabits per second they were able to achieve with new fiber optic setups in a single connector cable. This, That's so fast. It is so fast. It's a million times faster than the average broadband internet in the United States. You know what's faster? then you being safe, your data being leaked. But thankfully, apparently Google is gonna prepare to put end-to-end -end encryption in its Google messages for RCS messages. This is based on an APK that was recently released showing that they are indeed planning to encrypt those messages. Finally, what took you so long, Google? And what took Tesla so long to realize that the Cybertruck doesn't need to get no smaller is the fact that they can't make it smaller. That's what Elon Musk said in an interview with Jay Leno. Uh, actually, he'd said it in Twitter, but he did a video with the Cybertruck with Jay Leno, who's a noted car 
freak, basically. That's what he is. So Jay Leno asked him, what's important? Why is it important for the Cybertruck to be bulletproof? Elon Musk answering, because it's badass and super cool. I mean, do you want your truck to be bulletproof or not? Of course you do. We want to be a leader in apocalypse technology. And then adding in a tweet later, review design with Franz last night, even 3% smaller is too small. So Cybertruck not getting any smaller. We'll be pretty much this size. We'll probably do a smaller tight world truck at some point. So there you go. Elon Musk leading the way in apocalypse technology. But you want to bring the apocalypse to your Tesla? Well, thankfully, Tesla's arcade has added Fallout Shelter, so you can now play Fallout Shelter in uh, your Tesla. So there you go. That game is stupidly addictive. Is it? Yeah. So you wouldn't want a new car? No. Okay. Well, you can't play the arcade while you're driving. You have to be parked. So there is that. But you don't have to be parked to see space because it's everywhere. Space is everywhere. And thankfully, Elon Musk's company, SpaceX, is going to be launching the first crewed mission from the United States in quite some time. The SpaceX Crew Dragon launching May 27th, this coming Wednesday at 4.33 p.m. over in Kennedy Space Center, Cape Canaveral, Florida. The UFD tech team may be or may not be considering taking the day off of work to go watch this. Can't confirm. We will do it social distancely and just Watch things go <laughs> space rocket go. <laughs> but we talked about on Friday how Richard Branson's Virgin Orbit was going to launch over the weekend. However, due to a faulty sensor that happened, they actually had to push it back to, to today. So we'll see whether or not it launches today. If they actually do the horizontal takeoff of the Virgin Orbit thing, or if they'll push it back even further. But Valve's been pushing back, be, making a good card game. But now they're having invites to Artifact Beta 2.0 in case you want to play another card game, which is all the rage right now. What's all the rage? It's a complicated world we're living in, but not for Texas Instruments. The complication is over. They are going to make it so that you cannot, cannot run programs on the calculator. Calculators are for calculating. Fingers are for finging. So according to the latest update that's going to be happening for the TI-84 Plus and the TI-83 Premium, they will lose functionality for assembly and C-based programs, which a lot of people really don't like and kind of goes against what Linus Tech Tips has been trying to do, which is water cool a TI-84. So why would you overclock it and water cool it if you can't actually run programs on it? And if you update to the latest firmware, you can't roll it back either. So you just lose all of that functionality. People are upset. The idea is it's supposed to reduce cheating, but other people are arguing it doesn't do that at all. Why, why would you just remove fun, you turds? But I'm gonna introduce fun to your, your brain right now, okay? You know those Boston Dynamic apocalyptic dog robots, okay? I discovered that they have a legitimate use and I was like, okay, I'm okay with this. This is, this is a non-terrifying use of the robot dog. You ready for it, Reese? Boston Dynamics Robo Dog roams New Zealand countryside with a new purpose, sheep herding. Excuse me? Makes sense. An AI powered robot dog herding sheep. That kind of works. It kind of works. Give it a solar panel for charging. You could just have sheep out in the middle of nowhere being herded by a robo dog. I like it. Good job, Boston Dynamics and Rokos, the company behind it. And keep them in New Zealand. Okay, we don't need them. We don't need those robo dogs here in the United States. If New Zealand buys all of their Boston Dynamic dogs. Totally okay with that. And if you buy Synergy, I'm gonna love you forever because they're today's video sponsor. Control multiple keyboards from one setup, minute, Linux, Mac, Windows. It's all good. And what's all good? It was this episode of Hot News. I was feeling on fire for this one. I, I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it too. Why don't you smash that like button? Why don't you get subscribed? Why don't you leave me alone because I'm done? You said control multiple keyboards from one system. Damn it. <laughs> you know what I meant? <laughs> multiple keyboards and PCs. It's all the same. Control things. That's what Synergy does. It synergizes. Control the things. They knew. They knew. You knew. <laughs>